human being is destroying the world. And people are not realizing this. We, we don't love our world. But by just focusing on the short-term vision, people are just looking at the money today and they don't think of what is coming next. Everyone today is affected by plastic, but we have the solution. This is pure innovation. Nobody's done this before. We've built the world's first boat from recycled, thrown away waste, and we've sailed it 500 kilometers. One thing that we completely underestimated was just how powerful an engagement tool it's been. Everywhere we've gone, it's been like iron filings to a magnet. People have been magnetized to this optimistic, joyful project actually had tangible results from our expedition. A hotel chain has banned single-use straws and bottles. So we've seen the closing of Mombasa's dump site. We brought together the background conditions for change to happen and it's done so thanks to taking it on a journey and expedition. The end goal is to live in a world without single-use plastic. Right now we're imagining it and we're imagining what it can be like. The boat is very much just a vessel to reach that target. What we've done so far is give plastic a second life. What we need to do is end single-use plastic. I am optimistic that we might see the right changes in our lifetime. Everyone loves a positive story. Everyone loves something hopeful. You know, everyone likes to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I think that's what Flip Floppy is. She's that light at the end of the tunnel. Watching people's reaction has been really rewarding. And just seeing the spark in people's eyes when they get it, it's been such a pleasure. You give the good example, the African example to the whole world, how we have to change, how we have to solve different. I was inspired by the vision, everybody else was inspired. And I'm sure that you will inspire millions of people. Your flip floppy boat will be taken to United Nations Environment Assembly. And there we'll have representatives of governments from 193 countries all over the world. And I am sure we will inspire them, we will give them a strong message that now it's time to act, now it's time to make change, change our business model, to endorse the principles of circular economy and reduce the volume of plastics entering our oceans year after year.